So, our new temporal agent, Saora, uh, sorry, Saora, is here. Um, uh, Starfleet yes. hasn't heard from Deep Space Station K-13 in a while. It's in a tactically sensitive part of the quadrant, and the brass is getting concerned. Get out there, find out what you can, and render assistance if needed. And hey, be careful, okay? This could go sideways, fast. Yes, sir. Stay safe out there. Will, sir. Right, that well, the Admiral's given us another task to do, so let's get on and do it. Second part of the story arc after the tutorial. Right, so beaming out. Welcome to the Soul System. All visitors to Earth's space dock are required to fly close enough to the station for our tractor beams to lock onto your ship. Our automated systems will notify you when you are in position. Thank you. Exit system. This is Earth's space dock. You're cleared to warp to sector space. Warping now. So, our Pioneer class uh, starship, USS Mickelberg. And we are going to go to Deep Space K-13 in the Denova system. I think at least it is the Denova system. Yep, in the Denova system. Out there. Wonderful warp speed of warp 5. And that is slow. It is our ship's maximum speed, yet it's the speed that was achieved by uh, the USS Enterprise, the original USS Enterprise, a hundred years before now, under Captain Archer. Yep, warp zero point nothing. Now, thankfully it's a little bit faster than that, but it, it is slow. The starter ships don't have, don't come with great equipment, and even if it did have great equipment, this rank of ca uh, a character wouldn't be able to use it. So there's K13 coming up in the Denver system. Again, painful omens. We've arrived near Deep Space K-13, Captain. This is odd. I'm not picking up any comm traffic. No signals, nothing at all from K-13 or the other ships in system. Scan for signal signs of enemy ships or activity. Sensors aren't detecting enemy vessels or warp signatures. No signs of combat either. This is peculiar. I'm not sure what to make of it. Yellow alert. Prepare to approach. We're not going to. Uh, those fun. They're great in the cells. I love them. I love them. But we're not going to make them the same mistake as uh, Kirk uh, does in. Uh, uh, the Wrath of Khan, which of course hasn't happened yet. We are going in with our shields up. Captain, the other ships are raising shields and charging weapons. However, I'm not going to fire first. They're shot. I'm not holding fire altogether though. One knocked out. All 
ships disabled, Captain. I'm not sure disabling a ship with a high-powered photon torpedo through a uh, Captain, down shield is the probably the best of actions. To patrol this sector. I don't think that was a war game or training sim. Their weapons were at full power. Okay, Tarsi. See if you can raise any of uh, the ships. Use all channels. Try whatever it takes to get through. Stay away. They'll, they're taking control. Don't come near us. They'll take you to... Ah, the station came from the station. Ah. Stay away. They're taking control. You don't come near us. They'll take you to a station. They came from the station. Right. Who? Who's taking control? What's happening? Oh, oh it's closed. System cl uh, static and then closed. Right. Okay. Well. He definitely said that it came from the station. Scanning the station, see what we can see. No signs of combat on board the station, Captain. No hostile life form readings either. Everything's quiet. And now for the understatement. Hmm, something's not right. Sensors are picking up a number of life signs over there. But I'm not reading any unusual activity. All of the station systems seem to be functioning normally. Think we should beam over and have a look around? Have a landing party meet me in the transport room. Alright. I don't like this. No one's at their duty stations. Not even the transporter operator. Station's not on alert. What's happening? So Tricorder's picking up a life sign nearby. Looks like they're in sick bay just across the hall. Set phases to stun. Let's get to the bottom of this. Those blast points on the wall are from phaser fire. There was a fight here. But with whom? No sign of Klingon or Romulan weapon fire, just Federation. Hmm, got a bad feeling about this. The lights are on. Over to the right. Welcome, uh, Alt Lexington. How are you? I'm guessing you've just been ra uh, playing Star Trek Online? Yep, raiding in from Star Trek Line online fantastic so what were you what were you doing yeah you're new you're new it's good that you could come it's fantastic to have you here we're running through uh, the Star Trek uh, temple agent tutorial or story arc here yet yeah, just finished Star Trek in ah, the new credence class Looks interesting. Is it as good? Ah, no. <laughs> you thought I was a French dude. Nah, no. Brit here. Brit. Though we both had our own elections. It's a nice, powerful ship. Right, okay. Well, off stream, I've just been trying out the. Uh, um, the temporal cruiser uh, uh, T6 and that's uh, that looked to be quite powerful for a first outing thanks for the follow alt much appreciated much appreciated follows are one of the best things that you can do uh, for a streamer uh, and as Alt knows uh, thank you very much Alt oh, and of course just the timer clicks in just after the Alt's followed it's fantastic that you could you brought your, t uh, your team over here and uh, I've hung out in one or two of your uh, um, one or two of your streams and yeah 
Uh, I seem to remember lots of uh, uh, lots of screen activity going on with uh, uh, your space wizarding. Not a lot of space wizarding at this level, though. But anyway, we are checking out uh, sick bay here on K13. Captain, I think I saw motion in that room to the left. We did indeed. Talk to the medical officer. Stop where you are and turn about slowly. I need to determine if you are infected. Infected? With what, exactly? Neural parasites. A life form last encountered by the crew of the Enterprise at Deneva Colony. Those possessed by the creatures tend to engage in hostilities it's with the It's very infected. blinding. The better to render them fit for infestation. Well, as you can see, we're friendly and Ensign... To met. And while you have not engaged in hostilities thus far, I have seen infected employ false passivity in order to lure unwary prey. A tricorder scan of your adrenaline levels should verify your status. A logical precaution, Ensign. Scan away. Scans show a slightly elevated level of adrenaline, though nowhere near that of an infected life form. Thank you for your patience. One can never be too cautious where these parasites are concerned. Tell me more about them. I want to know what we're dealing with. They are a life form that propagates by infiltrating the nervous system of a host creature. Through this neural link, they can compel their host to obey their bidding. They can also inflict extreme pain upon the host at will, and do so to discourage attempts at resistance. While effective, this punishment can lead to permanent neurological damage or death. At this time, most of the station personnel have become infected. While there is a possibility of uninfected survivors, I must warn that it is remote. I see. Any recommendations, Ensign? According to Starfleet data files, the parasites can be safely Thank you for the by follow. exposure to high just light. My attempts at reconfiguring the Puvitas. is that the correct pronunciation, Puvitas? I am a physician, not a habitat engineer. I see. As a precaution, I have developed a serum that can render a person toxic to the creatures. However, medical supplies here are limited. I have enough serum to inoculate your landing party and one other person. Perhaps we can find someone else via the comm system. Th uh, thank you very much for coming, Alt. Thank you for the follow. You have a good afternoon, and I, uh, thank you for bringing your uh, your community here. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, you're more than welcome, and I try my best with it when it comes to uh, pronunciations. Um, it's great that you're here and great that you're able to chat I'm uh, Pachui was in the chat earlier I'm not sure if he's still here there's it's good that we have thank you very much for the follow uh, with shell what's it how just followed ah Pachui I'm glad you're here Pachui seems uh, I don't know if you're familiar with old Lexington thank you for the follow it is a very important just followed. Patria always seems to be on is your fleet buddy. Ah thought he might be. Thought he might be. Uh, you 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 always seem to be around in in Star Trek and that's fantastic. It's a great community and if anybody in the chat is looking to join a, a MMO that has uh, yeah, it is great to meet new people, and and Star Trek Online has a great community that wants to help each other and wants to help new players particularly. I, we we, yes, uh, that was the conversation we had last time. Yes, the it would be nice to know more about what the elite boths and their use of. Uh, 
traits and uh, kit, uh, kits and so on actually was. There seemed to be a distinct lack of it in uh, uh, from uh, developers. Yeah. I recognise that ground combat is seen as second rate by a lot of people, so there's more research goes into the space combat by the players. Yeah. But yes. Right, as a precaution, I've developed a serum that can render a person toxic to the creatures, however medical supplies here are limited. I have enough serum to inoculate your landing party with one other person. Perhaps we can find someone else on the comms console. Hopefully we're not alone here. Right, comms. Yeah, you're right there. Absolutely, Godzilla. Uh, Melee boths are great. Never had much use of them. This is Lieutenant Sarur of the USS Mickelberg. Is anyone uh, on station able to respond? Now there's a voice I wasn't expecting. I take it you heard my distress call then. Well, in case you haven't noticed, the station's been overrun right, by yeah. parasites. Yeah. The wee devils are back with a vengeance. So I see. We're at, uh, we're safe up in sick bay. Can you join us here? Uh, I'm afraid not. I'm in the artillery control room down on the engineering deck. The place is filthy with parasites, so you'll understand if I don't go out for a wee jaunt. Understood, Scotty. We'll make our way to you. Throw her out. I have secured a small amount of security gear. It may give you another edge against the parasites. Excellent, Ensign. You're with us. Uh, uh, let's gear up and get head to edge engineering. I haven't really spent a lot of time with the burning set, but it's... They won't use melee things that need combos. Right, yeah. I uh, wondered about uh, what it, whether the, they would work quite well with the mace that came with the recent giveaway. Okay, uh, right, we have that. Let's gear up. Uh, Scab in. Yeah, that's. If we pass through the mess hall, we can access a turbo lift to reach and engineering. See. Whenever you are ready. and fangs are great. How do you... is that one of the... Um, what, now, how do you get the and fangs? Is that uh, with the... Uh, uh, oh, come on. Is that with, through the dilithium store, or is that... Uh, uh, Was it? Oh, to franchise quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Have they not Tai Chi? Yes, indeed. Epic Phoenix token. Right. Okay. Epic needs the epic, does it? Uh, this character doesn't have enough uh, to get a Phoenix token at the moment, but it's, yeah, I can have a look. Epic. Okay. Got the one that the, the uh, of course I'll come out of shooter mode. These crew members, they're all infected by the parasites. Be careful. I don't think that the ground combat was good even when it was new this. The creatures continue to be resistant to tricorder scans, sir. It may be fascinating. I'm detecting an unusually high level of tachyons nearby. Based on these readings, it is possible that a temporal event has occurred on the station within the last 4.2 hours. Fascinating indeed. Let's get going. Well, I've got to admit, my character is slightly out of canon in the sense that a tactical um, uh, Klingon isn't a normal thing. 
I know you had Tuvok in um, uh, in Voyager, but uh, Ultra rare. That sounds better. Yeah. Because I, oh, I think all the epics are uh, ships, aren't they? The auxiliary control station is down the hall to our right. I'm reading a single human life form within the room. The bio signs match those of Commander Scott in the Starfleet Medical Database. Yes. Yep, uh, absolutely alt, um, but as I say, this character doesn't have access to that yet, um, and doesn't have enough uh, uh, dilithium, but yeah, you're absolutely right, and it's fantastic that uh, uh, they were able to give us those epics, uh, because uh, it's an awful lot of dilithium needed to get them uh, through, just, just with the dilithium, uh, to get an epic. Um, so it does actually free up us mere plebs uh, to chance to get some of the really special ships that were uh, reward ships from long ago. Well, let's not keep him waiting. Hi uh, there. It's good to see a friendly face. Ah, uh, there you are. I was beginning to get a bit concerned. But you might have been taken by those little beasties. I'll just lock the door so none of them can get in while we discuss our next course of action. Now that you're here, we've some work to do. The way I see it, we need to get to main engineering and turn on the station's ultraviolet lighting. That'll sort the nasty bugs out properly. Is that so, Tumet? While I cannot attest to the ability of UV light to sort Denovan parasites, it will initiate a complete molecular breakdown within all parasites exposed to it. Sorry, I don't follow there, Pat Chewy. Okay, uh, and Ensign. All right, not only the epic token is reclaimed, isn't it? Uh, isn't it? All right. Ah, okay, right, yes, from the, um, um, from the rehatch, from the, the alternative, uh, timeline, yes. Uh, yeah, forgot about, yeah, sort of, forgot about those, uh, those films completely. <laughs> They're not bad films, though, to be honest. Uh, right, okay, the hem ensign. Aye, uh, she's a Vulcan, all right. I was trying to override that lady control. It looks like someone sabotaged several duotron on relays. We have to repair them if we're going to have any chance of saving the station. Before we go, grab yourself a kit from the crate. It might come in handy. We better get a move on. The parasites aren't ones to loiter about. Glad you're with us, Scotty. Lead the way. And Simon Pegg does a wonderful Scotty. Aye, this is one of the broken relays, right here. That one was easy. Just a few more to go. All right, there are several ways Oops. through the engineering section here. Keep in mind that the parasites tend to stay in dark corners. If you want to avoid them, do your best to stay in the lit areas. Thank you for the reminder, Mr. Scott. Don't go there! No, don't go that way! Scotty's told you not to go into the dark. Mm. 
there is one here. Come on, I'll folks. Have this fixed up straight away. That takes care of that. No Ooh. trouble at all. Yeah, I suspect that you made it to 400 KP. Is that with the new... Um... <laughs> yeah. Is that with the, the new Ryzen uh, hit frame? Come on out of there, team air. Come on, team. Ah, uh, this one just needs nah, a new one. So it's the old one, right? Yeah. There we are. Good as new. Right. Don't go there, stay back out. Oh, I thought you were a shaman. Now this may be a bit clingy. Just a wee bit longer. There we are now. Another one. Oh, that's Hunter. Don't shoot Hunter. in the UV lighting. Ah, uh, it looks like someone has overridden the command codes. You best get to the command center and see what you can I'm do. I'm sorry about the ad break. I'll stay here, barricade the door, and keep trying to get those UV lights going. All right, Scotty, stay safe. Right. We'll just wait until the ad break finishes. I'm sorry, folks, uh, that it's for both those people that have, haven't got ads and are waiting for the ads to break finish, and well, I'm sorry for the uh, people who've got ads. I wish I could uh, do something about them. But thank you very much for coming and staying. It is much appreciated. Absolutely. Needs a, a hunter needs some medicine too, by the of it. Ad break ends in 15, apparently. I wish they would warn, but they don't. Not always, anyway. Sometimes they do. And people are back. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for the uh, delay. Uh, sorry for the ads. All we've done is come up out of the engineering up Jeffrey's tube and we're about to go into the command center because if somebody's changed the command codes. So Whoa. look, who are those soldiers? They're definitely not Starfleet. Oh. 
definitely got good shielding. Get the lights while the commander's down. Back in the nestful. Oh, UV lighting seems to be doing the trick. Of them. Salvage what you can and send a squad to kill the Federation vermin. This, uh, the Nakul's sort of phasing in and out we need to talk makes it difficult to fight them now is a good time hunter actually the name's Daniels this may be a little difficult to absorb but recent events may make it more plausible I'm actually from the future I can't tell you how far just that it's a future worth protecting that's why I'm here now the aliens we're fighting are called the Nakul and they're waging a temporal cold war with us they're trying to change the timeline here in order to disrupt the future. Understand that I follow a temporal version of the Prime Directive. There's only so much I can reveal to you. Trust that we're doing the right thing here. I can't tell you how far. Just that it's a future worth protecting. Oops, we have a... Time's a factor. We need to stop the Nakul from obtaining the neural parasites. The Nakul ship that brought these invaders is now fighting the USS Ptolemy. Someone must have sent a distress call. Unfortunately, Ptolemy is no match for the Nakul. Neither is your ship, at least not alone. We should eliminate the parasites on the ships you fought earlier. Those crews will help you once their minds are their own again. It's risky, but it's our best shot here. That's a lot to take in. We can return to the ship on your orders. Yes, that's a good idea, Tarsi. Beam to the ship. You're right, the absolutely. Ships, they won't last long. K-13 is hailing us, Captain. I'm transferring command codes to you now. Use them to remotely access the computer on those disabled ships and emit an ultraviolet flash inside. Okay, thanks, Scotty. This is Captain Seralto, the Ptolemy. We have engaged the enemy ship, but we are outmatched. Please restore those ships and join the fight quickly. Looks like everyone's coming around. Parasites are gone. This is Captain Twardy of the USS Myrmidon. What? What happened? What's going on? Your crew was taken over by neural parasites. We've defeated them. Now we need your help fighting this alien ship. Parasites? Okay. Sorry. We're right behind you, Captain. Lead the way. Acknowledged. Something's wrong. We're not doing any damage. Can't even lock them. Kind of Temporal shielding. Temporal shielding? Never heard of it. But maybe a modulated iron burst could disrupt it. Oh, now we can lock. I wonder if any of the Star Trek experts that they've got in chat at the moment that actually knows whether the Nakul appear in any of the uh, separate series. I'm most familiar with Voyager and the original series and I'm not... Um... My work, Captain. You sent those devils back to wherever they came from. Uh, we do have a wee problem. The burst I sent, when combined with the power source, created a feedback pulse. Feedback is creating some kind of spatial anomaly, which is beginning to pull the station in. We need to evacuate immediately. Acknowledged. Where's behind me? Nicole, right, so it's from Enterprise, okay. 
I got to admit, I was only get, just getting into Enterprise when the whole thing was plugged, uh, pulled, the plug was pulled on it. Scott here. The portal's collapsing. We're in for a right bumpy ride. Everyone's aboard. Get us clear before that portal blows. Right. Scotty's told us everybody's aboard. There's doors. I don't think anyone's ever seen a station do that. Station. Scotty, you said we had everyone. Why did you tell us that uh, you got it, that we'd beamed everybody aboard? You, they're gone. Perhaps not. After all, it was a temporal vortex. They may well survive in another time. Let's hope so, Scotty. Let's hope so. Well then, it's been quite a day, hasn't it? Neural parasites, time traveling readers. Why, things will seem almost normal once I'm back on the Enterprise. Speaking of, I'm sure one of the ships here can give me a lift back to her now that they're parasite free. If Starfleet Command gives you any grief on this, remind them that lives are more valuable than equipment. And you saved a lot of lives today. Yeah, I saw that was, uh, uh it'd been flagged up. Uh, you're right, it's, it's, again, it's not a bad one. Uh, thanks, Scotty. Give my regards to Captain Kirk and the crew. Oops, a daisy. Over, over clicked. Right, Daniels, apologise for springing all of this on you at the last mi uh, minute. I'll explain more as soon as I can. For now, I can tell you that history is unfolding as it should, and it, it was not the end of K13. You're building a fine tradition of making the right decisions in crisis situations. In the meantime, don't talk to anyone about the cool or their time travel. We can, can't risk any further corruption of the timeline. Tarsi was system uh, scan clear. Captain, every, looks like everything's getting back to normal. We can leave the system on your orders. I apologize Oops. for springing all of this on you at the last minute, and I'll explain more as soon as I can. For now, I can tell you that history is unfolding as it should, and that was not the end of K-13. You're building a fine tradition of making the right decisions in crisis situations. In the meantime, don't talk to anyone about the Nakul or their time travel. We can't risk any further corruption of the timeline. Understood. We'll talk soon, Daniels. Uh, but I'm going to need more answers. System scans clear, Captain. Looks like everything's getting back to normal. We can leave the system on your orders. Depart system. And the Pioneer class uh, starship. As I said on Saturday, I am so glad that that was now included. Let me get this straight. K-13, an entire space station just disappeared into some type of spatial anomaly? <laughs> and I thought some of Kirk's after-action reports were a little out there. Starfleet Command won't be pleased with the loss of K-13, or the people that were still on board. But they'll be happy to hear about the lives you did save. Good work out there. Keep it up. Stay Congratulations, safe. Lieutenant. Alright. 